Hello, my name is Bill. I'm the pastor at Freedom's Lutheran Church in Gibbsville, North Carolina. Thank you very much for joining me for this moment of devotion. As I was getting up and as I was thinking about things this morning, I had a question that I asked myself. How am I with accepting new things? Hmm, how are you? when you are confronted with accepting a new kind of thing. Uh, for example, technology, right? Technology is changing all the time. Do you find yourself being an early adopter or a late resistor? Do you find, or maybe, maybe you find yourself somewhere in the middle. You're kind of with the pack when it comes to accepting new kinds of things. Do you find yourself uh, uh, stymied by new technology or do you find it stimulating, wondering what this new technology has to offer? New things are a part of our life, especially now it seems. It seems like things are changing all the time. And uh, it's, the same is true for God. Now, we hold God in two camps. One camp is that God is the same. God never changes. God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And I believe that's extremely true of God's character. God's character, God's love for you and me never changes. Ah, but then it says in Isaiah, in chapter 43, God is speaking through the prophet to the people of Israel saying, behold, I'm doing a new thing. Do you not perceive it? So God, even though God's character never changes, and he's always about love for you and me, yet God does new things. God is on the move. God is in the things that may be very, very challenging to us at the time as we hold on to our tradition on one side and try to embrace something that's brand new. What are we to do in the midst of all this? If you're an early adopter, how much tradition, how much of the old do you hang on to? If you are a late resistor to what is new, how do you go about it enjoying and honoring the traditions of the past, yet keeping an open mind to those things that are new? You know, I believe, I believe Jesus kind of addressed this conundrum. He was teaching his disciples in parables and he was presenting to them something very, very new. Yet at the same time, too, they had a rich tradition in their past. Being good Jewish people, they were brought up with looking at scriptures and, and that kind of thing in a new way. And so here's what he says about the new and the old. And I believe it gives us some direction. Therefore, Jesus says, every scribe who has been trained for the kingdom of heaven is like the master of a household who brings out of his treasure what is new and what is old. Jesus points to discernment, discernment, recognizing that there are very valuable things to hang on to, traditions, older ways of doing things, rituals, those things add a lot. They give value. They, they give our lives meaning, but at the same time, at the same time, we are to keep an open-minded toward what's new, toward what's changing, toward the new thing that God is doing among us. Bottom line, bottom line, we don't do it apart from Jesus, our Lord. We ask Jesus to give us direction, Jesus to give us wisdom, and hang on to what's new and what's old for the sake of you and I coming into the kingdom of God for the sake of you and I sharing the kingdom of God with others. Thank you for joining me for this moment of reflection. I so appreciate our time together. If you'd like to look at other devotions, if you'd like to check out other things we are putting up on our website, go, go there, go to freedens.church, F-R-I-E-D-E-N-S dot church. And you can find many interesting things to stimulate your mind and hopefully inspire your spirit. And God willing, I will see you tomorrow.